folks, what I've got for you today is a review of the um, new mobile application called TapTap Tap Revolution. Um, some of you might have seen videos of this on uh, the unofficial Apple weblog. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the menu systems. Now the first thing that stands out about this game, um, as opposed to all the others I've seen so far, is they've chosen to completely go away from the uh, regular interface of Apple where you have the menu bar across the bottom and something across the top where they've actually designed their own uh, with the, with this much similar theme but obviously it kind of sticks out and it's quite memorable um, and obviously you can see in the background it's a moving background as well so here you've got um, options for one player and um, two player where the bottom and the top of the screen can get used by two people so you just lay the iPod flat or the iPhone um, and then two people can use either side it gives you um, tutorials and also you can download uh, more tracks obviously because it's just come out recently um, there are no tracks to download at the moment and you also get some options um, the options you get is um, shake so when you play this you can actually shake it using the um, the six axis um, sensor so depending on different nodes you strum here you can shake it um, and you can also have a profile to tabular which is obviously the people that make this um, application so we're just going to go home here so obviously you can see if I go here you can see they've got back buttons and home buttons so it's a similar theme but they're not using the regular Apple interface um, which I actually think is quite nice um, so that they're, they're going away from it obviously to make it more of an individual independent application so I'm going to one player here um, so you can choose easy, medium, hard or extreme tracks um, so I mean this you can kind of compare this sort of to Guitar Hero because obviously you can see along here there's three tracks um, and you use your, your thumbs or fingers or whatever you, you choose to use um, as to hit the notes as they come along um, now the only thing because this is an iPod touch and I don't have the um, iPod, iPhone firmware 2.0 yet I can't actually get it to play the sound for you but I can show you I'm going to go easy track now just so I don't embarrass myself um, and these this is the only easy track available so I'm going to go here and I'll show you so let's turn yourself around by Nick Gallant. So what you do now is you see these things flying across the screen. So you've got to press these. As so there's at the bottom there's three yellow dots which you have to press as soon as the well what we call a note or well let's just say the colour. As soon as that gets to the bottom, you've got to, this is quite difficult trying to look through the lens of a camera. <laughs> so I mean the the only thing that I would say is slightly off putting about this game is the fact that if you're using your thumbs, you can't actually see for a split second when they get when the colour blobs get under the, your thumbs. You can't actually see um, exactly when to press. So it's kind of like predicting when you need to press. Um, but it is so far. I mean, I found it a pretty awesome game, and it, obviously you can see where the similarities come from with Guitar Hero. Um, the graphics are nice and simple simple user interface, you can't really get anything wrong with this one um, obviously as the tracks get harder it gets much faster this is an easy one just so, like I said, I don't embarrass myself in front of you guys <laughs> um, but obviously if you had your headphones in with the iPod Touch you'd hear the music playing in the background um, and I'm not sure, I don't think you can apply your own tracks either so that's one of the other downsides, and obviously with Guitar Hero you have to play set tracks to the beat and I think these notes are actually coming out to the beat of the music that's actually being played. I mean, at the moment, it's not too hard, but it is it, it is pretty challenging. Um, I don't think I've missed so far. Um, and I think it's basically something that you're going to use um, the features of the iPod in a simple way, rather than being a really difficult application where you have to just go crazy by using all these buttons on a different screen. You've got three positions where you click, and when they get hard, you actually have to shape the iPod sometimes. Um, but it's it's one of those fun things. Let's say you're waiting on the uh, on the bus, or you're on the metro, um, or at an airport. In fact, this is just like a simple waste some time game, um, where there's nothing really too trivial to well too too exhausting to have to think about. You just tr oh, there's a miss, two misses. <laughs> there we go. That's me finish. And at the end, you get. Um, your score and your accuracy, so that's 95% for me um, 79 was the longest streak, so you can now do a new song, you can register your score or you can challenge a friend, so if you challenge a friend that's um, and that's Tap Tap Revolution for 
the iPhone and iPod Touch. Next up um, will be a review of Twitterific, um, which will be in a later video, so stay tuned and check the channel for the latest updates. If you like what you saw and you want to see some more, uh, then just hit up that subscribe button and uh, message me if you've got any questions. Um, so yep, yeah, stay tuned for the next video and see you soon.